Hello everyone. I'm starting here a little bit early, getting ready to see everyone. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. We're getting ready. We're gonna get ready for our next demo. Hello, hello, Corin Shimi. Hello, Gregory, Paolo. Hello, Tin. Rena V. Yogi, Ginger World, hello, 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 welcome everyone, I see everybody coming in on board, hello Goni, hello from Korea, Ron K, DMC, Ginger's World, hello, 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 yeah, I can see more people coming in, Hi, Sam. <laughs> Hi, James, Paul, Kevin. Hello, Kevin. Chengman, Sung Xinping, Joy. So welcome, two more minutes to start. So see everybody coming on board, let everybody be ready for these two demos that we're gonna have, we're gonna have the breakfast duo overnight oats. Hello, Chingman. Mabel Lee. Okay, UCT um, Sam. Okay, so one more minute before we start. So we're gonna have a very nice breakfast demo. So some fast, easy ideas you can do uh, at home for breakfast and staying healthy and uh, keep on enjoying this live stream that we're doing from Nude Food and all our other Pure Food, Pure Fitness and Pure Yoga channels. Love True Food, hello, Love True Food, welcome. Loretta, I uh, send you hearts, hearts, love hearts too. Love True Food. <laughs> Lakshmi, Brenda, hello Brenda. <laughs> Lots of hearts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Choke away. We'll be back soon. We'll be all, we'll be back soon. Okay. So it's now one thirty. Welcome everyone. So I'm Chef Moy from Nude Food. So today we're gonna have two exciting new uh, dishes for breakfast. These are called the breakfast duo. We're gonna have the overnight oats and the coconut yogurt. So this food is very easy to make. All you need to do, so I'm gonna show the ingredients. So I'm having here oats. I got this, uh, uh, these oats, they're organic gluten-free. You can try any different type of oats. You can use bar barley or you can use um, other uh, cereal, very similar, but um, it's a dry oats, right? Then we have chia seed. Chia seed is now available in many supermarkets. Chia seed is a very good source of fiber, also iron and protein. It comes from the, originally from Mexico too. So I'm from Mexico, so it's a very nice superfood, right? Now we got um, coconut palm sugar. Now this is also easy, easy to get. Uh, now it's quite common to find in the stores. It's a plant-based sweetener. I like it because it's um, um, totally less processed and has lower glycemic index, right? Hello, Joshua, hello. And then we got cinnamon. So cinnamon, I like cinnamon too. It it's also has some, some chromium there and helps to lower your glycemic uh, load, right? So it's, it's very good for uh, optimizing your absorption of like carbs, you know, it's very good to cinnamon, right? They like the spice, right? Coconut flakes, easy to get. I like Ceylon cinnamon, it's very good. And we have our, this is a plant-based uh, milk. I'm using soy milk, you can use oat milk, almond milk, or just plant-based milk. Hello, Besta! 
and then for topping so i'm using just um i, I got some strawberries that we're just gonna chop right ahead so let's get started with this recipe so all you need to do need is just you have a, a mixing bowl <clears throat> i'm gonna add my oats right so this are overnight oats why because we're gonna leave them overnight right this bowl goes in chia seeds coconut palm sugar now this is depending this is optional if it's too sweet uh, your milk hello hello and hello and yeah coconut palm sugar or brown sugar or you can skip this if your if your milk is already too sweet or you don't want to do any sugar now here i'm having coconut flakes uh, you can put uh, any other things alike. You can add some chia, other uh, well, chia seeds who added already, pumpkin seed, sunflower seed, a flax seed. You can also add protein powder if you like to make it a more like a protein breakfast, right? And boost it up. So you add protein powder. You might need to uh, reduce a little bit the amount of oats so it balances your thickness, or add more. Um, Artmon meal because it will absorb right and make it too thick right so this proportion I like it quite, quite quite a lot and then last but not least the cinnamon Ceylon cinnamon so we got all the ingredients now now I'm gonna just mix them before I add the the milk and then when we mix them then we're gonna add the milk, it's gonna be a lot easier. That's it. This all mix pretty good. Then we're gonna add, yeah, we're just starting puring this like 250 ml. Okay. Now you can use a, a whisker or a spoon, anything could be okay for mixing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a, a whisker here now you just stir it stir it stir it a little bit because the chia seed needs to be mixed because otherwise if it stays on the bottom it will crumble at the bottom so you really want to mix it very good and then um you will see okay what is this right so this looks like a cold oats you know like okay so what, what you need to do now, um, you th these are called overnight oats because you leave them overnight on your fridge, right? So you're gonna get a mason jar, right? Glass mason jar. You can recycle, reuse any jars you have at home. Then um, just start putting back your oats there. hello hello i see more people joining in jerry so i like to do this a lot because uh, he saves me time and you just make different flavors you can uh, blend your milk your plant-based milk with chocolate so you can make like a chocolate flavor you can um, add like protein powder rice protein pea protein uh, hemp protein um, whey protein if you take dairy um, any any type right and oats are a very good source of fiber they're very good to keep a healthy gut support digestion and um, it's a good day to start in your day and you know? it's very convenient and you wake up you don't need to do any uh, any preparation it's just ready there waiting on your fridge right so So here I have it. Okay. So this this jar will will stay overnight, but you see it just liquid here, right? So the overnight the oats will absorb and the chia will expand and will produce more fiber. Will make easier for digestion. It will be kind of like cooked, but it's no, it's is uh, is kind of like raw 
slowly uh, absorb raw when we cook. You know, it's just just it's just a, like a reduction by leaving it on the fridge. It will absorb the dry oats. Will absorb the the nut the nut milk or any the soy milk that you add and bring a very nice texture. So this one will go on the fridge. Now for this demo, I already prepared. I have one already, right? So see, is I left that this is the same recipe, but as you can see now, it's already set, right? Uh, I don't like to use instant oats. You can use instant oats, Corin. So I leave it 24 hours on the fridge. I leave it overnight at uh, 12 hours. I will be 12 hours, not 24, 12 hours. Um, uh, if you, you use instant oats, it will be a little bit too soft, I think. I like to use, uh, let me show you the oats. Um, I like to use, um, uh roll oats old-fashioned right um these ones i like to use organic as possible you know i heard something about glycophosphate which is was a pesticide that was a lot on the oats a while ago so i like to use organic oats so if you use um roll oats they're a little bit thicker and the texture is more chewy if you use instant oats i think it will be too soft so you can see, right, is uh, is more thick, the oats, right? Sure, Josh. Kamsamida, Josh. Yeah, good, Goni. That's a good choice to use this one. So as you see now, I'm gonna take a spoon. So it's very thick, right? So as you see right it's very nice and thick right so this is good like you just go hiking and get your put a little bit of ice packs and put it on your backpack and then after your hike you just take your overnight oats and then um fruit um fruit depending on the fruit you use i like to add the fruit at the end uh because it will get too wilty or depends if you like it or not so here i i, I got some like um like strawberries, for example. And then that's a topping that you can just add or or, or just, just whatever you, you like to prepare, right? So I just gonna remove the, um, a little bit the, the stem, the back. And then uh, I like to just like dice it, make it like little, little pieces, right? And then looks very nice when you dice, make it like small dice. Then we got another one. Just cut in half. And then you make like um, half mm slices, right? And I'm using what is called a score, score knife. It's very small. So it's good for like detail cuts, right? So it's a little score knife. You know, so it's easier to to handle for a food, food, food preparation. So, and then I, I, I do, I dice little small cubes of strawberry. So I think uh, the, the food looks very nice when you do, um, when you do like very symmetric, it looks very attractive, your dish, right? And um, making little little squares is very nice. So the, it starts from the side, right? You, you start looking, it starts from the eyes, the smell and the taste, right? Although this is very simple, it's something you can just, um, and I'm just, just crumbling it here, to dice it up. Right, and then yeah, just 
spread that out. You can layer it too. You know, you can break it apart and put like a parfait of different fruits. You can do different things. And, and that's it, right? Hello, yoga one. Hello. Hello, thank you very much. So see, it looks very nice with your diced strawberries, right? And then, um, yeah. See, let's try this, you know. So this is how you give like very nice scoop. Late breakfast. There. Mmm. Very yummy. Mmm. Okay. So I'm gonna put this back on the fridge. This is a good thing because it's in a glass jar. It keeps very good, keeps cold very good. So I, I put it back on the fridge and then take it out. Very easy, yeah, it's just very easy. Very easy to, play, to prepare maglai. Yeah, it's very easy. It took me less than five minutes to make it. You put it overnight and then just remember the uh, shelf life of this overnight oats. It will be like one day. Um, if it's summer, it, it, it will slow, it will um, go off a lot faster, right? So you do it over, you do it at night time. So you say, okay, I'm gonna do this flavor. And then in the morning, you go and you just have your oats ready, ready to go. And you add like protein powder. If you're doing some fitness or you want more protein, you can just add anything. And then it's a good source of fiber, right? Good for healthy gut. So I'm gonna come back with the other recipe. So this go overnight. Okay, so everybody's been asking for this recipe a while ago, so we're gonna make it. Um, everybody loves it, and it's it's a lot easier to make. So you do need a good blender. Okay, so this is the or yummy coconut yogurt recipe. So it's a it's a good yogurt substitute that it looks very good. <laughs> yeah, this is my my spatula and my paintings. That's Frida Kahlo, by the way. <laughs> okay, so. The, this next recipe is, is our coconut yogurt. So the ingredients we use is fresh Thai coconut. So you need two coconuts around to make this recipe. We're gonna upload the, the full recipe, but you need to buy at least two coconuts. One coconut, you'll be very lucky if you get enough pulp and enough water, right? And then we have coconut water. No, I like to keep the coconut water in a glass jar on the fridge, it keeps long shelf life, like three to four days. It's very good. It's, it's raw and pasteurized, and it's um, it's very important to be like that because the probiotics will start eating up the uh, the um, the sugar of, of the coconut water and the coconut pulp to ferment. We got a probiotic. So yeah, this is a, a probiotic peel, right? It's like around one probiotic peel for per recipe, which should be enough. So try to look for single strain freeze dried probiotics, because um, otherwise you need to make sure if you, if they're not freeze dried, uh, you need to make sure they're refrigerated in the place you buy them because they're very sensitive for heat. 
freeze-dried probiotics are more stable for for buying online or finding another place. I like to use single or two strains. If the probiotics has many strains, that I see the fermentation is not very consistent, right? So maybe three, four strains maximum. Lactobacillus, bifidus, you know, yeah. Fresh lemon juice that we're gonna squeeze it up. It gives uh, the acidity, that acidity that is in the yogurt and then it will be um, increased as it's being fermented. But this recipe, you can just make it, eat it right away, or you can put it in a glass jar on top of your fridge or something warm, like 40, 40 uh, Celsius, warm temperature, leave it overnight, like 12 hours to increase the fermentation. The longer you ferment, the more tangy it will get, right? So it will be more concentration of um, bacteria that is feeding up from the sugars that is found on the coconut water and the coconut pulp. Okay, so this is quite easy. And the last ingredient, this is my homemade buckwheat granola. Maybe, does anybody wants to learn how to make this? Maybe you can say yes or no for later. Okay. <laughs> so let's start with this. So, um, high speed blender. There goes the coconut pulp. Coconut water. Then uh, the probiotic peel. Obviously, I'm just gonna open it and take out what is called the probiotic powder, right? You don't throw this, right? And then I freshly squeeze. 15 ml, which is like one tablespoon of lemon juice, right? And that's it. Now, this blender has a tamper, so the tamper, this one helps to really mix it well and make it into smooth texture. Hi, Fanning. Hello, Kamala Yoga. Namaste. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit noisy. We start on low. Oh, I forgot to connect it. Okay, here we go. We start on low. to blend it like 30 seconds now this coconut pulp was a little bit too soft um, it will depend the thickness right of your yogurt depending on your coconut pulp so you can see I blend it around 10 around 20 seconds right it needs to be long long blending of time right 30 seconds will be good or one minute it will get a little bit warm, which is good for the probiotics, so it needs some warm temperature. And then you set it on a jar on top of your fridge, or you can just put it in your fridge if you want a slower fermentation. So um, this is just very straightforward. And um, so once, once we got it, you can just go ahead and then just plate it. OK, 
Got my plate here, very easy. Then you got your, your spatula. So you don't wanna add any sweetener here. You wanna add it at the end so the fermentation gets slow and gets more balanced, right? And depending on your pulp, if your pulp is too watery, you put less water. If your pulp is too thick, maybe add a little more coconut water. So you, you wanna check your, your consistency, right? You can make this recipe times two or times three. If you wanna make more coconut yogurt or um, if you wanna extend the shelf life, you can freeze it into ice cubes and then uh, take it out and blend it like portion control, right? And and that's it, you know, so here this texture as you can see is see the, the spoon stays there so it's quite thick right you see the, the spoon is not sinking you know it's got a, a nice like thick thick texture now you can add some people like to add um um cashews if you don't have um if you cannot get co fresh thai coconut i'm using the thai coconut not the small round one the small round one i like to use the big ones because the pulp is thicker core and then um the small ones the 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 coconut pulp is very thin yes um well it it's it needs a good blender you know because this this creaminess that we achieve right you need a good blender blend tag or vitamix or get a good like Kenwood a good good blender yes and I I, I think a blender is something a, a very good li lifetime in investment and I got my blender I really like 15 years you know it's been it's worth to get a good blender like uh, I don't want to give any ads but you know like B Vitamix is a good brand and then like a blend tech they're like the two top brands right so there are some other brands very 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 pricey they're too big but it's still i think it's, it's worth uh san mao and um and then this is just the some buckwheat granola that i made and I dehydrated so um yeah you can just put it on top right so you 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 got a, a different texture you can add um fresh fruit you can cut um, any uh, berries or banana or nuts it's, it's very nice very easy right so and then you can make it in advance you know you can make your yogurt in advance make more batches leave it overnight and then um, keep refrigerated is also need to be keep refrigerated so the flavor will become more tangy 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 a little longer it stays on the free uh, because it will be increasing the fermentation now let's let's try this so as you see you know it's very thick like your gourd right mm. very good very nice thick some people like to add cashews you can sow cashews and maybe add a little bit of cashews too they like to balance it with cashews Hello, Margarita Tang. Mm. Mm. Very good. So, I need to take a picture of this so I cannot finish it. So, we, we, we show the two dishes we made today. So these are the overnight oats right here already 
very easy breakfast duo, right? And the coconut yogurt. Yeah. Many, many thanks. Suka, I love your coconut yogurt. Very yummy. Thank you. Thank you. It's very simple. Very simple. Just drink grants. Invite us over next time. Sure. Sam. Yeah. So this is this is very straightforward. You saw all the ingredients were uh, mostly raw and processed. And, um, and this is a good way for starting your day. Giving a good healthy bacteria and good fiber to keep healthy gut all sorts of best yeah yes I, I totally agree yeah it's good for the skin as well yeah oats yeah i think they do face masks with the oats or something like that yeah but also it's very good uh has good b vitamins good source of fiber and uh i like i like to start with my oats my day and uh, and i also like to put uh, buckwheats it's like um pseudo cereals like a fruit like gluten free buckwheat is also very good I like to mix the oats of buckwheats right so also here you can put buckwheats too how long does it take fermentation yeah so you leave it overnight 12 hours um f uh, on a glass jar um so it will be depending on on uh, how warm it is but like 12 hours should be okay Okay, well, thank you everyone for joining and uh, look forward to seeing you all soon. So keep following us at our channel, Nude Food Official, and check out our these amazing yoga classes going on at Pure Yoga Official and Pure Fitness. So have a great week ahead and send you hugs to everybody. Stay healthy. Thank you, Gunny. Thank you, Joshua. Thank you, Corinne. Thank you so much. Okay, have a great week ahead. Bye-bye. And now.